is that uh, Hitler congratulating Obama, when I say Hitler, I mean Iranian so-called President Ahmadinejad, is because he knows that Obama's just liable to be more militant than uh, Bush has been towards him. Because that never made sense. Here's a guy who comes to the U.N., spits on America, insults the president. They invite him to Columbia University with a left-wing scum, salute this Hitler. And he's had a lot of fun. But now there's a new guy in town. It turns out Obama may be tougher than you think. You know, Obama's a politician. Remember who he appealed to. He appealed to the crazies in his own party to get himself elected. Promised them the world. But you look at his chief of staff, Rahm Emanuel, and you realize this guy's no pushover. And that his fa Rahm Emanuel's father was in the Ergun should tell you something. You know, in case you're quaking in your boots that we're suddenly going to roll over to the radical Islamists. I don't think so, by the way. I don't think so at all. I'm actually happy that it's Rahm Emanuel. I know he's connected to Freddie and Fanny. I know he's a Clintonite. I know all of that. But nevertheless, he's not an Islamist, okay? Get that through your head. You're never going to get 100% of what you want. The age of the, the guy you could trust 100%, was it ever true? Do you ever have anyone in politics you could trust 100% or gave you 100% on the dollar? I don't think so. So it's always a mixed bag. So it may not be as bad as you think. There are other stories. The Republicans are so clueless. It says, Jindal rises and gops next generation. What are they, crazy? Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal is among a short list of Republicans as political stars stand and rise the party, looks for new ideas and leadership. What has he done that he should be a leader already the Republican Party? Nothing. But you know what it is? The Republicans are so racist that they figure because he's not a white man, he might win. You hear this? They sit there like dummies in the, in the country club drinking bad whiskey, and they say, well, uh, that Obama fellow won. Yeah, he sure appeals to those colored people. We have one of them coloreds we can use in the Republican Party. Oh, they said Alan Keyes. Now he's a whack job. No, who's that other one? No, he's been on the news. He's never played. We ran him up the flagpole and no one saluted. How about that feller down in Louisiana? Yeah, yeah, he's no whitey. Let's try him. I mean, this is how they think. Uh, idiots. Morons. How about thinking about the, the fundamentals that brought you idiots back in power in 94? Called conservatism. Never heard the word? You're embarrassed? You think it's like dirt on your tie, don't you? That's what will make the Republican Party shine. But you know what? They're hopeless. Who needs a Republican Party anyway? I don't want to go into politics right now. I mean, with a whole new third party discussion. I'll save that for after New Year's. Give me a break. Just been two of the worst years of my life. I, I don't want it anymore right now. Just give me a break. We'll reevaluate the whole picture after, after New Year's Eve. I don't want to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Not right now. That's enough for now. Incidentally, I'm taking a vacation tomorrow and for a few days next week. I need the vacation. I deserve the vacation. I earned the vacation.